Australia and the Philippines once again proved its deep and strong relationship wherein the Australian government reiterated its support for the country in enhancing and strengthening connectivity. Denise Osorio has the full details. The Australian government on Monday reaffirmed its support for the Marcos administration's aims in improving connectivity within the nation in efforts of improving and strengthening cybersecurity. Australian Ambassador to the Philippines He Kyung Yu emphasized on telecommunications as the main sector for the two nations to focus on. In coordination with the Memorandum of Understanding signed by the two governments last February 28th of this year, indicating a shared desire to enhance their cooperation in cyber affairs and critical technology strategies. You highlighted on the Regional Partnership for Infrastructure, or P4I, program that the Australian government will be implementing in order to assist in infrastructure rollout, especially building critical infrastructure. Under that, for the Philippines, uh, we have collectively, so jointly, between the Philippines and Australia, have chosen uh, telecommunication as one of main sectors that we want to focus on together to provide technical advice and to share um, our experience and our practices with regard to telecommunication sector. According to you, the Philippines catching up with developments on cybersecurity cannot be drawn on a timeline, despite its growth being similar with Australia. We are strategic partners, we are good neighbors, and we are good friends. And that is actually really taking it right back to the basics of what it means to have sound systems in place, sound practices in place, and also to share information and, and um, our practices as well. Because, you know, cyber threats affect everyone and every country in the world. You also emphasized on continuously educating the public on cybersecurity and even including it as foundational teachings for the youth, a key point echoed by cyber policy and diplomacy expert Chris Painter. Ordinary, even kids, can take steps to protect themselves, and that's really important to get that, you know, that really grounded and inculcated at a young age so they understand that and that carries through their whole lives because they're going to have to deal with this for the rest of their lives. There will be attacks on the, the things that they rely on every day and they need to think about their personal information, how to protect their personal information, and ultimately how to protect themselves just like they would in the physical world. Painter stressed that the Philippines seeing cybersecurity from a political, resource and priority level, the administration has recognized this as a fundamental issue which has brought upon foundational steps for the nation to take action action on. Denise Osorio from the National Television Network for a new and better Philippines.